Stand by for action. Thanks, Jonah Reminders, Dave Milner. I am the Unpleasant Blind Guy, and I want to welcome you to Part 2 of this episode of the Unpleasant Blind Guy on EDL Radio. Now remember, if you want to contact me with comments, questions, show suggestions, awesome American suggestions, I'm available at UBG Contact on Twitter, or I can also be found as Dave Milner or Agador, that's A-G-G-E-D-O-R, on Mublet, the Tea Party Community, Spreely, Mines, MeWe, or Gab. Now let's begin. Well, yeah, Jeff, you know, um, one of the things that gets me, and, and this is something that people in the United States who are thinking, well, this has nothing to do with me, should, uh, should uh, ponder on a little bit. Uh, you know, the Labor Party in the UK, which is really behind denying the people of the UK their Brexit, is very much like the Democrat Party here in the United States. You know, you've got uh, the Democrat Party. Now, I'm just going based on what Jeff said earlier. All right, Vince made some great comments in the in the 1960 election. All right, a lot of people voted for John F. Kennedy. Um, he's a Democrat, and but he was a Democrat way different than these Democrats over here today. All right, the the Democrat Party back in those days um, was actually for cutting taxes. Not for increasing taxes on working people. It, um, you know, yes, it's they did have some. It, guys. They did, it's yes, and they did have. They did have some socialist leanings, but they weren't nearly as bad. John F. Kennedy today would be considered a Republican, and not just a Republican. He would be he would be considered a right of center Republican today, because today mm. our Democrat Party represents uh, represents people that uh, that boo God at their convention. They represent people who are for killing babies after they're born. All right. They represent people who want to I blur as well. I've heard, I, disgusting. Sorry, mate. Yeah, and they represent people who want to blur sexuality so that girls can't even participate in girls sports because some tranny guy uh, you know decided that he felt like a woman that day. Uh, they represent the people that want to completely destroy the economy with socialism. When we have this one of the strongest economies that we've ever had in history, like the Labor Party, um, you know, uh, today versus the Labor Party of Jeff's youth, the Democrats today are uh, are the exact opposite of the Democrats of let's say 1960, right around the time I was born. Um, well, you're earlier; I was born. But that you know, that's the point. They've come out now in favor of socialism, in favor of one world government. Okay, and this goes back to the UK. Uh, they want some faceless, uh, well-moneyed, well-pampered, unelected official, and this is for you guys in the U.K. And it's for you guys in the United States, too, because this applies to the U.N., to decide how you run your life. No, no, you can't run your life according to them. They have to run it because they think they know more than you. That's what it's about, okay? And, and you know – I, Jeff, well, I got one more thing to say before we get into the next thing. Um, <laughs> this comes, this actually comes from a computer game, um, a, a computer game called Day of Sex, and I've used this on uh, the show before. There's a line in that game from one of the cutscenes where one of the characters says of the United Nations, a few bureaucrats in New York can't even make good decisions for New Jersey, let alone Paris or a small village in China. All right, that's what it's come. <laughs> yeah, it's that funny, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's true you though. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's it true. They're I mean, so crazy. <laughs> they're, they're totally in that song they do. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? I mean, how is <laughs> how is is some uh, is some fat slob in Brussels going to make good decisions for, let's say, Sutton, Surrey? Okay, or or Land's End, or Ipswich, where Jeff comes from. They can't make those decisions. They don't come from there, but but they think they can. And the people who voted to axe the 
October the 31st Brexit deadline are the same sorts of people. They want the people of the United Kingdom to be enslaved because as far you know as far as they're concerned they'll be the overseers, the well-fed, well-paid overseers and they'll have the money and they'll have the protection and all that stuff. And the people of the United Kingdom, I forget them. Who cares if there's chaos in streets and the children are getting are getting raped and and beaten up and murdered and all this other kind of stuff? As long as they get what they want, and, you know. It's yeah, the again, it's class, a, those kids that that happens to today has collapsed. Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. That's all they do. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it sounds so um, so basic, but that is what they they think. Mm-hmm. It's collateral ba- uh, damage. And, of course, if we want to keep our power structure powerful, then we just mm-hmm. ignore what's going on. That's what they've always done. That is what they will always do until people said enough enough. And in the end, it's going to come down to it. People, you've got to think, I, I think about it this way. It's not about me. I'm not going to be around forever, but I'm thinking for my grandchildren. Mm-hmm. What's this world going to be like for them to grow up in it, Dave? breaks my mm-hmm. heart to think of what they might have to go with, what we've struggled for to stop that happening for their nightmare, that nightmare for them. That's why we've been here week in, week out, doing what we do. It's protecting the future. That's all we've tried to do in our own ways and to, to put the word out there. But that's what gets me. That's what makes me sometimes in despair, Dave. And I'm not one. Anybody knows me. You late listeners out there, you know me. Never give in, never give up, and never surrender. But it does get to you. It gets to you. I'm only human. I think it was a good Lord being with me, you know, helped me through some of the dark times. Where all I see is chaos around me. But that's what I'm supposed to see. That's what we're supposed to see, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, in, in them times, it's always best to stay focused, like an horse with blinkers on. You know your prime goal. You know what it's about, and we keep pushing on. As I say, we're never going to be slaves to anybody. Whether they want us to be or not, this country refuses to be slaves. The people this country, the sovereign people, refuse it. Whether you want it or not, too bad. It's never ever going to happen. There, Dave, I just want to make clarify that, but that's the way I feel. That's how I feel, mate. Nice one, Jeff. Nice one, brother. Yeah, well, that's that's really it. That, you know, and I mean, it, that's what it comes down to, guys. That, you know, it comes down to do do you want to be do you want to be free? Do you trust yourselves to be free, or do you want to let somebody else run your life? Because um, I guarantee if you're actual grown-up men and women, you're not going to want somebody else to run your life. No, you're right, Dave. I mean, you're like me, Dave. Me and Dave do think very closely on these things. And uh, and what I said there, I know it reflects with Dave, because Dave feels exactly like me. That's what I'm saying, we, which is why we're really good buddies, because we think so much in tune with, with the way things are, don't we, Dave? Yeah, well... That's true. That's true. Now, that's a bit early, brother. But what I'd like to do, because on the other end of this, guys, I want to come back and, and it's time to name and shame. Okay, what I want to do, Jeff, if you're good with it, is play the SHR Media promos, get that done, and then come back and it'll be time to name and shame the people who voted against the UK leaving the EU on the 31st of October. And uh, if you're good with it, I'll go ahead and run this promo. You these promos? You ready? Yeah, let's roll it, guys. All right. Well, guys, first of all, the English Defense League radio show can be heard in little 30 or 30-plus minute bites on the Unpleasant Blind Guy page at Spreaker.com. That's where my show, The Unpleasant Blind Guy, is. Now, the show times for that are 1 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, and that's 6 p.m. in the U.K. And on Saturdays, at midnight Eastern, and at 5 a.m. in the U.K. And interspersed into there, you guys are going to get uh, the occasional regular Unpleasant Blind Guy show. i got uh, one running right now that I'm doing with Kaiser Schuff. It's part one of a three-parter. We had a really good talk about a lot of things. Uh, so uh, please give that a uh, listen. And 
If you happen to be listening to one of these shows right now from the Unpleasant Blind Guy page, or if you happen to be listening to it uh, from the Western Free Radio Network or the SHR Media YouTube page, you can get them there too. Remember that the English Defense League radio show podcasts live on Thursdays and Sundays at 8.30 p.m. in the U.K., and that's 3.30 p.m. Eastern in the United States. So do, if you want to, come over here to our show when we're live, and you can register at blogtalkradio.com. Search for English Defense League radio show, and that's up in the center white box there when you get in. And you can get into our show page as we're live and get into the chat room. And Jeff will, be, will uh, monitor it and uh, have, have a nice chat with you and whatnot. It'll be really good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and play these promos. These are some, we are associated here, guys, with the SHR Media Network. These are some great shows with some great hosts, and you guys should really check them out. Okay, now you are listening to the English Defense League radio show, and here you go. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. Hey, this is Michael Wright. And I'm Shannon Wright. Join us for The Right Way with Shannon and Mike, Monday through Thursday from 7 to 9 a.m. right here on SHR Media. Why are they joining us? For fun things like sports, politics. Oh, maybe some news and entertainment. And all kinds of other things. Money and recipes and events, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so join us Monday through Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. here on SHRmedia.com. From a public locker inside a dilapidated Long Island rail station comes a show designed to piss off liberals using truth, facts, and ridicule. The Lid Radio Show, featuring the conservative voice from the People's Republic of New York, the Lid himself, Jeff Dummett. Tune in every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific on the SHR Media Network. Go to shrmedia.com. At Lid Radio, we fight for the truth, the justice, and a good kosher T-bone. If you don't listen, Hillary Clinton might sneak into your bedroom in her house coat late at night and blame you for her election loss. It's the Lid Radio Show with Jeff Dunnett. It's your business diva here, Melanie Collette. I am inviting you to a front row seat as I discuss some of the most intriguing details of wealth and finance with today's movers and shakers in the world of business. Listen in and discover financial truths on a global, domestic, and household scale. Uncover topics that will impact your wallet today and in the future. Money Talk with Melanie airs Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. East, 2 p.m. West, right here on SHR Media and High Place Pundit Talk Radio. You can't afford to miss it. The new show on the SHR Media Network, Sackheads Against Tyranny. On shrmedia.com, go there quick like a bunny, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, every Wednesday, live and direct. On the SHR Media Network, shrmedia.com. Be there. Broadcasting behind enemy lines in occupied California, a mere two miles from the state capital, the bloviating Zeppelin's Berserk Bobcat Saloon Radio Show can be heard every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Pacific and 11 p.m. Eastern, only on the SHR Media Network. Go to shrmedia.com to listen. You can also watch on the SHR Media Facebook page and the SHR Media YouTube channel. No goldfish were abused in the making of this ad. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. And welcome back to the English Tennessee Radio Show with your host, Jeff Spider Mitchell. There he is. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, so before we, we, we move on with the, uh, with the show, I just want to Go for it, uh, make a comment uh, about uh, what happened to 
to Al and uh, Vito, Vito Esposito, you know, the Global Patriot yeah. at Radio Certainly. Show Network. Great um, Patriots, both of them. Monday, I, like I normally do, I, I like Vito and I like Al. Um, you know, it's always a hard hitting show, and it's it's all something I look forward to. You know, the type of shows, mm-hmm. Dave, that you, you like to go to. Yeah, and sure. I was yeah. there this, this evening. This was Monday, and all I kept hearing was uh, operatic music. It's quite obvious that uh, Block Talk mm-hmm. Radio was having issues. Um, you know, the, the the thing was that no one could hear Al and Vito, though. When I uh, I was like in the chat, and I basically um, I, I logged in, uh, and then I couldn't hear, and then I had the opera music, and this went on for ages, basically the whole show. Uh, Blog Talk Radio, you want to get your act together, because uh, Vito and Al have got a lot of good people that visit their chat rooms. I'm one of them, and I was disgusted by what I, what I saw. Um, and you know it's like, Dave, it's so frustrating oh, yeah. when you want to get on oh, and yeah. do your show. And I mm-hmm. know it's like Pavito and Al. You know, we looked me back on, you know, and uh, and people couldn't hear, and I, I thought, I, I felt so bad for them. Because, Dave, I've been there a few spots myself, but not like that. And it was like mm-hmm. they were having a go at it, you know, having a go at the global... Global Patriot Network, and I was really angry about that. I just want to comment it tonight. I want to lie there. Uh, they were my friends, not my friends, and you think you can have a go at them. You have a go at us all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. Unacceptable. Maybe there was a, a problem. It's funny, uh, but I haven't had a problem myself personally. Um, this show's gone to where I've had not those issues. Uh, but it seemed to be with with uh, Vito and Al uh, that the whole show, two hours of the show, or whatever. I know they cut it in the end, but it's bad, isn't it, Dave? I've, I've got to, I've got to say, it, I've got to mention it because I look, mm. I always look forward to to the show. They have a dynamic show, you know what I mean, Dave? And all really interesting mm-hmm. topics to talk about. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say that, you know. Uh, you know, on behalf of my my, my my great patriotic friends out there, guys. Yeah, well, and you know, guys, um, do check out Global Patriot Radio at BlogTalkRadio.com. I agree, BTR really does have to get this stuff together because Spreaker, I to tell you guys, has way better sound and they have cheaper pricing too. The only thing they don't have is phone lines. And a lot of people, if they want to have a guest, they can bring them in on Skype or whatever and resolve that problem that way. I know that SHR Media, you guys just heard about BZ's Berserk Bobcat Saloon. Uh, we're on Spreaker. Uh, the Unpleasant Blind Guy is on Spreaker. All right? And when BZ does his show live, he can actually bring guests in now uh, through his studio. And that means no need for blog talk radio and the AM radio quality sound and all this kind of stuff that you guys are overcharging for. Okay. You know, you got your basic job, do your job. Okay. Just like coach Belichick said after, <laughs> after the Patriots won the Super Bowl last time, do your job. That's it, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so, oh, all we yeah. are, yeah. Say, don't we? You know, yeah. we pay good yeah. money. Most of us who are radio, I just pay good money, don't we? Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've got to make sure you look after us because, you know, in the end, we will just say, jog on. Uh, we'll find them somewhere. We'll go and D Live or something like that. We'll start broadcasting from D Live. So, in the end, that'll be your loss. And you'll be losing a lot of revenue from people like myself and many other radio hosts. Just keep pushing us what you do because that day will come soon enough. You know, we're hanging it out because we're loyal. Uh, to, to Blog Talk Radio that we've, we've been here for many years, but there's only so much that most of our hosts will put up with. And when I see my friends um, not having to have their show and have to cut their show, I think it's disgusting. And I want you to comment live tonight about it. So there you go. Dave, back to you, buddy. I like to say it, mate. It's got to be said. Oh, yeah. Well, not only does it have to be said, I just thought of this, Jeff, and, and of course, as I said before we broke, um, 
for the promos. You know, this is going over the Unpleasant Blind Guy page at Spreaker.com. It's going over, it may be going over the Western Free Radio Network. It'll definitely be going over the SHR Media YouTube page. So people out there listening, you know, hey, um, if you're looking for a place, you know, you're thinking about doing your own show and everything like that, uh, go to Spreaker. Because as you can see, obviously Blog Talk Radio doesn't have a whole lot of loyalty towards some of the some of the people that have been with them for years. I know Jeff's been with them for man, you've been with them for like close to seven years, haven't you? Well, seven um, years. I've, I've been with them. You know, yeah, seven and a half getting them for. Yeah. So yeah, I've been oh, yeah, with them yeah. a long time. They've had a lot of revenue out yeah. there over the over the years. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> how, how you look out? You need to look after your people because we're the bread and butter, mm-hmm. aren't we, Dave? We're the bread and butter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, man. Jeff, uh, if you'd like. It's 20 after. If you'd like to call back in, I can begin uh, this name and shame segment, brother. Would you like to do that? Yeah, I'll do that now, Dave. And uh, um, have All you right. prepared? Have you, uh, have you, you, you done your throat, Dave? Have you took your throat exercises? <laughs> uh, there's a few names there, isn't there? <laughs> Careful, Jeff. There's a joke or two in there. But go ahead, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Dave. I'll uh, be back in a minute. All right, all right. Now, guys, as um, as Jeff calls back in, okay, because um, he needs to uh, he needs to do that to get back into the show. I'm going to go ahead and start this now. There were two votes taken on the 22nd, right? And uh, the first one, of course, was for Bobo's um, bill for his for his Brexit treaty, okay. And the second one was for that treaty to be ratified more or less, by the Parliament uh, by October the 31st, getting the U.K. out of the EU by October the 31st. All right, That's the simplicity of it. I'm going to take this from this article from the Daily Mail that was put out yesterday, 23rd. Okay, now I'm going to read the headline first. Uh, the headline for this, if you want to go looking for it, is the nine axed Tories who thwarted Brexit how your MP voted last night, including the key conservative rebels whose votes could have turned it around. Okay, and I'm going to read the bullet points here as well. This is a this is a rather long article, um, and I only intend to read the names, but I'm going to read the bullet points of this article too. There's four of them, uh, just so you guys will be a little bit acclimated. All right, um, first one. MPs voted for the PM's Brexit bill by 329 votes to 299. So it wasn't that big of a majority. A majority of 30. Second bullet point. But he was defeated in fast-tracking it by 322 votes. That's the number of names I'm going to (laughs) read. To 308, a majority of 14 guys. 14 votes made the difference here. Third bullet point. Nine former Tory rebels, now independent members, helped to block the PM. Pieces of crap that they are. And the last bullet point, they blocked Boris Johnson's Brexit plan by voting against his rapid timetable. All right, now I'm going to scroll down here a bit because it's way down. They've got, they've got the, the complete list of people who uh, voted for the deal, and, or rather for the treaty, and that isn't really what we should concern ourselves with. Okay, the people who voted for the treaty, uh, again, if and they voted against uh, fast-tracking the thing, all right, that right there uh, is just parliamentary games playing, and they're hoping that they can go back to their constituencies and say, well, hey, I voted for the thing before I voted against it. Okay, <laughs> and I got to say, guys, if, or rather, and when, because they're now talking about an a general election. Okay, when that happens, guys, my advice, and I rarely give advice, but I'm going to do it this time. Okay, uh, my advice is going to be to um, act as if it were another Brexit referendum. Whether did your MP represent the people's choice to leave the, the European Union? On October the 31st, and if they didn't, then you may want to look at voting for somebody else. Now, um, here we go with the list. This one here, uh, program, European 
Union Withdrawal Agreement Bill. All right, now this is the one. I'm just going to read the no's. All right, that's 322. Out of conservatives, none. Out of labor, Diane Abbott, Labor Hackney North, and Stoke Newington. There's not a, there's not a surprise there. Debbie Abraham, Labor, Oldham, East, and Saddleworth. And guys, I apologize beforehand if I butcher any of these names. Some of them are Mohammedan, and honestly, um, since I loathe Islam, I really don't care about that. Uh, but I apologize for any name or any uh, place names that I may butcher. It's not intentional. I'm an American. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Rashanara Ali, Labor, Bethel Green, and Bo. Rosina Alin Khan, she must be a Presbyterian. Labor, Totting. It says it says it's spelled Tooting here, but I'm going to say Totting. <laughs> Mike Amesbury, Labor, Weaver Vale, Tonia Antoniazzi, Labor, Gower, Jonathan Ashworth, Labor, Lichester South, Adrian Bailey, Labor, West Bromwick, West, Margaret Beckett, Labor, Darby South, Hillary Benn, Labor, Leeds Central, Clive Betts, Labor, Sheffield Southeast, Roberta Blackman Woods, Labor, City of Durham, Paul Blomfield, Labor, Sheffield Central, Tracy Rabin, Labor, Batley and Spen, Ben Bradshaw, Labor, Exeter, Kevin Brennan, Labor, Cardiff West, Lynn Brown, Labor, West Ham, Nicholas Brown, Labor, Newcastle, upon Tyne East, Chris Bryant, Labor, Rhonda, Karen Buck, Labor, Westminster North. Richard Burden, Labor, Birmingham, Northfield. Richard Bergen, Labor, Leeds East. Don Butler, Labor, Brent Central. Liam Byrne, Labor, Birmingham, Hodge Hill. Ruth Cadbury, Labor, Brentford, and Ellsworth, or Illsworth, whichever way you pronounce that. And I'm going to scroll down. And guys, you might want to, you might want to have a little picture of the map of the UK in your head as I'm reading these out, just to kind of look at the constituencies that these are in, because it can make for an interesting picture. All right, here we go. Alan Campbell, Labour, Tynemouth. Dan Carden, Labour. Liverpool, Walton. Sarah Champion, Labor, Rotherham. Hmm, there's a shock as well, guys. Jenny Chapman, Labor, Darlington. Bambos, Charlembaus, Labor, Enfield, Southgate. And, okay, I'm just going to spell this one C L. W-Y-D, Labor, Simon Valley. Vernon Coker, Labor, Gedling. Julie Cooper, Labor, Burnley. Yvette Cooper, Labor, Normanton, Pontefract, and Castleford. Jeremy Corbin, is anybody surprised? I don't think so. Labor, Islington North, sleazeball. Uh, sorry, Jeff, had to do it. Uh, Neil Coyle, Labor, Bermondsey, and Old Suffolk. All right, I'm going to scroll down again. David Crosby, 
labor, both the North and East. Mary Krieg, labor, Wakefield. Stella Creasy, labor, Walton Stowe. Yeah, again, not a shock there. John Curtis, labor, Dagenham, and Raynham. John Cryer, Labor, Layton, and Wanstead. Judith Cummings, Labor, Bradford South. Alex Cunningham, Labor, Stockton North. Jim Cunningham, Labor, Coventry South. Janet Davy, Labor, Lewisham East. Wayne David, Labor, Carfilly. All right, um, I'm going to read this first name, or I'm going to spell this first name, G-E-R-A-I-N-T, Davies, Labor, Swansea, right? And that's Swansea West. Marcia de Cordova, Labor, Battersea. Gloria de Piro, Labor, Ashfield. And that is it for this time. Next time, part three. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for listening, and may your God go with you. Goodbye. The Unpleasant Blind Guy is copyright 2019. Anno Domini.